The film begins with showing a team of police officers conducting a raid on a drug manufacturing facility. Leading this operation is David, the team leader. Despite successfully carrying out the raid, David receives a threat from one of the drug dealers, warning him of retaliation from their boss. However, David appears unafraid. He even challenges the man. Shortly after, while David is checking the newly raided narcotics, he is suddenly attacked by the man who has managed to free himself, forcing David to defend himself by fatally shooting the man. After successfully eliminating the man, David realizes that the base has been rigged with a time bomb. So, David immediately exits before the bomb explodes. A few days later, John, a former Special Forces soldier known for his aggressive tendencies and constant defiance of orders, found his wife's blood-stained wedding ring. Seeing this, John realized that his wife had been kidnapped. Before he can take action, however, he is confronted by a group of gangsters seeking to harm him. Undeterred, John engages them in the fight. In the end, John manages to eliminate the gangsters. However, John has to be taken to the police station because of his recent actions. On the other hand, David is seen speaking with his superior. The superior then instructs David to handle John, who has been brought to the police station for his actions against the gangsters. David is tasked with disciplining John due to his involvement in eliminating several gang members. However, David defends John, revealing that they are close friends and argues that John's actions were likely in self-defense. Shortly after, David decides to release John. As a trusted friend, John confides in David about his wife's abduction. It's suspected that John's wife was kidnapped by the city's biggest drug mafia boss because John once had serious confrontation with that mafia boss. Fortunately, David is currently involved in combating drug trafficking, so he promises to assist John in rescuing his wife and apprehending the mafia boss. However, David must await orders from his superior, as police operations require official authorization. That evening, John is showing silently gazing at his wife's wedding ring, reminiscing about their cherished moments together. His deep love for his wife intensifies his emotions, fueling his determination to seek vengeance against the Mafia boss and his henchmen. The scene changes to one of the Mafia boss's henchmen, disguised as a priest, who has abducted a Russian woman. Unbeknownst to him, John is already present and swiftly eliminates the henchman. Shortly after, John rescues the Russian woman from captivity by the henchman posing as a priest. Before eliminating the Mafia boss, John promises to eliminate each of his henchmen first. Meanwhile, the Mafia boss and his associates are shown having dinner. They discuss the recent demise of their henchmen at the hands of John. One associate acknowledges John's strength expressing concerns about their ability to deal with him. Annoyed by the praise, the Mafia boss promptly eliminates the associate and warns the rest against speaking favorably of John. He emphasizes his hatred for such remarks and declares that John will eventually meet his end, especially now that his wife has been kidnapped. The following night, John was chatting with David at a nightclub, where John reveals that he took out one of the Mafia boss's henchmen on his own terms. He expresses his impatience with waiting for orders from David's superior. Eventually, David agrees to assist John without seeking permission first. While David steps away to the restroom, John is approached by several prostitutes who are actually henchwomen of the Mafia boss. They pretend to seduce John, but he remains unfazed, leading to a confrontation. When David returns, he quickly escorts John out of the nightclub. The next day, David is seen dropping off his girlfriend, urging her to leave town temporarily as he and John plan to take down the city's most powerful Mafia boss. David doesn't want his girlfriend to be involved and insists she stay away from the situation. Hearing this, she pleads with David not to get involved with the Mafia boss. As they drive, another car suddenly blocks their path, revealing the Mafia boss and his henchmen. The Mafia boss swiftly kidnaps David's girlfriend, warning David not to meddle in his affairs. Threatened, David is tied up in his car while the Mafia boss departs with his girlfriend. Not long after, John stumbles upon David's parked car and frees him, learning of the kidnapping. They waste no time and head straight to confront the Mafia boss's associates, whom they capture and transport to their hideout for interrogation.
However, John subjects the dealers to some torture before questioning them about the Mafia boss's whereabouts and the location of the narcotics manufacturing site. One of the dealers attempts to flee, prompting John to eliminate him. Witnessing John's brutality, another dealer promptly reveals the Mafia boss's hideout and the drug manufacturing facility. In the evening, John and David arrive at the Mafia boss's hideout. Before entering, they devising a plan to enter from different sides. John heads in through the front while David takes the back route. Shortly after, John successfully dispatches the guards and moves on to the next area, where he encounters the Mafia boss's motorcycle gang henchman once again. Meanwhile, the Mafia boss monitors John's actions via CCTV cameras, observing his ruthlessness. He then sends a female henchman to capture John by tricking him. The woman named Sandra, she approaches John, pretending to be in distress and seeking his help. When John approached, Sandra attacked him and rendered him unconscious. Shortly after, John finds himself chained in a room with David and David's girlfriend, who was also kidnapped by the Mafia boss. A large man then enters the room to torture John, but John fights back, leading him to tie it up tighter so he cannot move. After the guards leave, David asks why John's wife isn't there. John doesn't know, but he is certain that she's held elsewhere. David then becomes curious about John's conflict with such a powerful Mafia boss. John explains that during his time in the Special Forces, he was ordered to take out the boss, but accidentally killed the boss's wife instead. As a result, the Mafia boss kidnapped John's wife and seeks revenge. Later, John is brought to the Mafia boss's underground fighting arena. In addition to drugs, the boss runs illegal fights for entertainment. Now, the boss intends to pair John against his top fighter in a fight to the death. Despite the odds, John remains fearless, and the fight begins. During the intense battle, John initially struggles, but the moment he sees a vision of his wife, it boosts his morale. With renewed determination, John manages to defeat the Mafia boss' best fighter. However, he is then cornered by the boss's henchmen, until David arrives and intervenes, saving John from harm. David and John join forces to confront the remaining henchmen of the Mafia boss. While David is engaged in combat, John infiltrates the boss's private chamber. There, the boss blames John for his wife's death and vows to make him suffer by giving him a potent new drug that induces insanity. This drug has also affected John's wife, driving her to madness. Enraged, John attacks the boss, but the boss, appears to be stronger as he has taken special pills. Meanwhile, David continues battling the henchmen. Fortunately, his sharpshooting skills enable him to dispatch them one by one. However, he inadvertently stumbles into a room filled with people driven insane by the new drug. Forced to defend himself, David reluctantly eliminates them. Returning to John, he evades the boss's relentless assaults. At an important moment, he accidentally discovers his wife in a room, now has lost her sanity after being given the new variant of the drug. Seeing his wife's condition, John can only mourn as she cannot be cured. Despite his sadness, John presses on, eventually turning the tables on the boss and defeating him, despite suffering a stomach injury in the process. On the other hand, David's girlfriend attempts to flee, but is attacked by one of the remaining henchmen. She struggles in a fight for her life until David intervenes, eliminating the attacker. With the Mafia boss and his henchmen have been eliminated by John and David. Although his wife did not survive, John has accepted it as a warning for his past sins. Before departing, John demolishes the boss's hideout to ensure any survivors meet their end. Days later, David reports the events to his superior, emphasizing the danger posed by the drugs created by the Mafia. However, his superior dismisses his claims and terminates David's employment for acting without authorization. In the following days, David chooses to work with John, and they promise to eradicate drug trafficking in other cities in their own way. Moral lesson from the story, don't mess with drug dealers, or you might end up tied in a parked car, and you're left with no date night. And always remember, if your boss fires you, just find a new job fighting crime with your buddy.